now warriors, this one of the most prominent techniques in the Street Fighter universe. One of the most known techniques amongst fighting game characters. A hip-hop invading and pop culture legend, the Hadoken. This iconic move is probably the one move that can represent the series itself and we gotta have the info on it. So, let's get into it. The Hadoken, also known as the Surge Fist or the Wave Motion Fist and often referred to as a fireball due to its appearance, despite few instances of the move actually producing flames. This technique was created by Takashi Nishiyama, the creator of the original Street Fighter. Takashi credits the 1970s era anime space battleship Yamato, in which the titular battleship has a weapon called the Hadaho, Wave Motion Gun Slash Surge Cannon, as the origin of the Hadoken. The Kamehameha from the Dragon Ball series, which was produced in 1984, may have served as another source of inspiration for the Hadoken. Both are fired in the same manner and have the same hand movements, albeit their placement of the hands vary slightly. A significant component of the original Street Fighter that Akira Nishitani and Akira Yasuda sought to keep and develop in Street Fighter I was the Hadoken. However, maintaining the special move took a leap of faith because Japanese players didn't appear to be very fond of it. However, while visiting the United States, Nishitani observed that Americans loved the rush of a well-timed fireball. This gave him the confidence he needed to make movements a crucial part of the follow-up game. Shio Kano, a young artist, saw something peculiar about the Hadoken. Ryu executed the move quite nonchalantly with a simple two-handed toss. Okano determined that the revised version ought to demand a little more effort. As Ryu leaned back and pulled his hands across his body, he came up with a complex wind-up to the Hadouken and sprinted forward. Okano watched the game's launch alongside Nishitani and Rizuda after groaning as his intricately drawn actions were condensed to a few frames to limit the game's memory use. Yasuda only became aware of the influence of the improved Fireball after the game's console release. By inputting down, down forward, forward and punch, on would execute the Hadoken in-game. The basic type of Hadoken is a surging punch in which a fighter's willpower is utilized to focus energy, also known as Ki or Chi, into and through the palms. As the palms are thrust outwards towards the target, a surging energy wave is expelled that results in a punching force traveling through the air in the opponent's direction. In some games, the projectile will have actual energy hands inside it. According to the Street Fighter II official fanbook, the Hadoken is said to be as warm as normal body temperature, contrary to popular belief that it is a fireball. Depending on its practitioner as well, its force of impact varies. Ryu's Hadoken is said to feel like a hard kick and its pain lingers, while Ken's is said to be like a hard punch but is brief in pain. The user will usually be immobilized for a short time after performing this move, leaving them vulnerable to counterattack. Certain crossovers allow the basic Hadoken to be used in midair. Ryu and Ken utilized the move for the first time in the original Street Fighter game. Akuma from Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo came next after them. Sakura, Dan, and Evil Ryu used it in the Alpha series. Sean from Street Fighter 3 and Gukin from Street Fighter 4 were among those to participate in the games. The move is also used by Ryu, Ken, Sakura, and Akuma's various forms. Other Capcom video games do in fact make use of the move. After defeating Ryu in Street Fighter Cross Mega Man, Mega Man is given access to the move. In Mega Man X, Maverick Hunter X, Mega Man Extreme, and Mega Man Extreme 2, X may use the move. To use it, he must enter the combination plus attack while on the ground and with his health gauge full in order to launch a potent energy ball. The Hadoken is one of Magma Dragoon's attacks in Mega Man X4. The boss's nine tails and three tails in Mega Man X, Command Mission employ the Annihilator Hadoken. A potent Hadoken is used by X in Project Cross Zone alongside Genmu Zero from Zero. 
Rogue, from X-Men, used the move within the Marvel vs. Capcom series after acquiring it with a kiss. You can also see the move used in a similar way outside of Capcom video games. In Kirby Superstar, Kirby, by using a copy ability named Fighter, can use an attack similar to the Hadouken. The motion is obviously used, as you can see, when Veldora and Milayam engage in combat in Tensei Shotera Slime Delta Ken. Parzival utilizes the Hadouken to combat Sorrento in the movie Ready Player One. Eugene Choi, Ross Butler, a member of the Shazam family, uses a Hadouken on one of the villains in the DC Extended Universe movie Shazam. It's hardly surprising that there are so many versions as the projectile is considered the father of all projectiles in Street Fighter video games. The Hadoken is the fundamental variant, which many fighters have mastered. As experts, they have developed new and distinctive variations of the maneuver. With variations of the move as special moves, super combos, and critical arts, Ryu stands out as the variant developer. This is due to Ryu's training in this idea and his use of the move, which is the most prevalent in the universe. I've divided the variations into the following three categories. The original primary versions, which include special techniques and super moves, are available. Among them is the Gohadoken, a unique move in the first iteration of the Hadoken. The Mitsu Hadoken, which is a critical art in the latest games, is a super version of the move. These variants were designed with the intention of murder. There are improved varieties, which are more potent iterations of previous forms. The Shikinetsu Hadoken, a unique move and a Hadoken embedded with the element of fire, is one of these. The Dinjin Hadoken, a vital art integrated with lightning, would be another. Then there are the unique versions, where the author alone performs the action. Some of these are special moves like the Reiko Hadoken, which are weaker than Dinjin but still powered by the element of lightning. Another unique technique is the Baku Hadoken, which is a Hadoken that is powered by the force of an explosion. Only Ryu can perform either of these. Since there are simply too many variations of the technique, I will create videos for each additional variation. Each has a unique explanation, and I'll make sure everyone watching this channel understands it. Keep an eye out for the next move on the list, in which we go from key to fist. If you think I missed something, let me know in the comments and I'll look into it, do some research, and make a video with corrections.